Good morning guys, happy Monday. Um, I just got done getting dressed for work. Um, my face has been so dry, like I'm starting to not be okay with it. <laughs> but I'm pretty much running late for work. It's like the new thing. It's 7.30. And I'm just gonna like rub some foundation on my face and then that'll be it because your girl has got to go. Um, and yeah, look at this little new mug we got from Hernan's family. It's so cute. We got this one and another one, and I am absolutely obsessed with them. Uh, but we're actually, we have way too many mugs, so we actually have to get rid of some. I just have to figure out how exactly we get rid of some, uh, we get rid of them. Do I just, like, th recycle them, or... I don't even know if there's any way to donate them. I genuinely do not know, but I have a lot. So I actually have to look into that because... Mm. And then, oh guys, I'm totally loving the red nail polish. It came out so good. Um, I'm going to definitely change the color for New Year's. Not sure what color yet. Um, I'm going to try to do it myself and not go to the... I wouldn't say hair salon, but you know what I mean. Nail salon. Um, but yeah. Monday morning it looks pretty gloomy out and today I'm actually working in the back so I'll be helping bringing patients back and all that jazz so yep we'll see what the day has in store for us um, I'm just gonna have my coffee get my oh my god I thought that was on uh, just get some coffee ready put my makeup on and get my bag and lunch ready to go and then I'll be uh, hitting the road All right, guys, I am on my lunch break. I just got done having my uh, meal. I had some of the vegan fry. I think it's vegan. Don't quote me on that. But I know it's like some type of healthy fried rice from Trader Joe's, which is really good. I really like it. It has veggies. I don't think I got the chicken fried rice. I think I got the veggie fried rice because I don't know. But it's really good. Highly recommend. Um, it's 103 and um, my job is actually holding a Zoom conference to answer any questions about like the COVID vaccine because they're get working on getting it for us. Um, but they were not trying to pay us so they wanted us to use up our hour unpaid to sit and listen to that lecture. I was like, no, I am okay. I'm going to go eat my lunch like I usually do and I have to run to the grocery store and buy some Italian seasoning and I was like no if you're not gonna pay me I'm not gonna stay you know that's just me using my personal time to listen to you guys about the vaccine it is important but I, I could do my own research you know and like the doctors are more than happy to answer any questions for us so and I'm sure like whichever co-workers did stay because I don't think a lot of them did um they'll fill me in on what what's going on but that's just me um but yeah, this morning went by really good. Time flew. When I looked at the clock, it was like 11.30. And I was like, wow, how are we almost done with the first half of the day? But it was fine. Turn off the air. I don't need the air on. Um, and yeah, my lunch was delicious. And now I'm going to have a little snack I made last night. It's some cucumbers with salt and, um, and lime. I usually add hot sauce to it, but I ran out. So that's not something else I have to buy. Um, so I'm kind of upset, Ooh, excuse me, that there's no hot sauce in here, but I'm gonna enjoy this and continue watching Melissa Lucy on YouTube. Have not finished up her, um, uh, vlogmas, so I'm gonna continue doing that. You guys saw where I set it up on my car. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on. And then when I get home, we'll cook some, um, dinner, just gonna make some nice and easy soup and try to get some studying done. I was able to get some studying done at work, but um, yeah, we're getting there. been out of work now can you see me yes 
uh, am I on drive? Yeah, I've been out of work now. I just came to Target and did the drive up to pick up my order. Um, I placed an order for a pickup for Italian seasoning because I need that to be able to cook what I want to cook tonight. So um, I'm glad I was able to get that out of the way. They were, like before I even pulled into the parking spot, they were actually already outside waiting for me, which is awesome. It was pretty fast service, I guess you can say. Um, but yeah, I got my Italian seasoning and now I'm just gonna drive home. I'm like maybe less than 10 minutes away from home right now. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and cook dinner. Hernan's at the gym. We're just gonna have some soup. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I could really use some tacos, but we got food at home we need to cook. Um, but yeah, let's drive home and cook some dinner. It is currently 8.30 and I'm just able to sit down. I'm kind of sleepy. I'm getting really sleepy actually. I might actually go to bed after this. But, but, I cooked dinner and dinner was really good. It's by far my favorite soup. If I can find the recipe or something similar to it, I will definitely link it below. I don't know if I'm supposed to allow to give like the full recipe just because it's from HelloFresh. I don't want to get in trouble, but it's so good. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just got done actually editing a video on my phone and I'm about to post it. Um, I have to make a thumbnail. Let me know if you guys can even tell that there's a difference between my... Um, in between clips because sometimes I vlog on my phone sometimes I vlog on my camera let me know what you guys prefer because right now I'm vlogging on my camera um, I know there's an audio difference because I've noticed that but I don't know if you guys notice it um, but let me know let me know what you think oh and final grades went up I passed classes with a B plus I think oh, excuse me so I'll take that. <laughs> I really thought I was going to pass A and P2 with a um, C, but I got a B. So I'll take that. That makes me really, really happy. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to uh, sit here and get some stuff done, take off my makeup, and um, just relax, watch some YouTube videos, and uh, enjoy the rest of my night. And tomorrow and Wednesday, I'm on triage, so I got to mentally prepare. I'm like all for it. That was like the perfect surprise coming outside and seeing it snowing. Wait, <laughs> it stopped. It's fine. But anywho, good morning. It is Tuesday and I actually woke up to a really nice surprise. Um, my paycheck came through two or three days earlier than it usually does. Um, usually I get my checks, I think on, yeah, on Thursdays, and that's when I was expecting it, but I guess because of the new year and everything, um, it came through, they sent it through today, and I was like, oh, that is such a nice surprise, so, yay, um, but I did, I was confused, I was like, what the hell just got deposited into my bank account, I, it didn't even cross my mind. But anyways, I actually woke up on time today, which I'm so happy about. Um, what time did I get up? I get I got up around like, I was up at 6.30, but I don't think I got out of bed till like 6.45. And um, yeah, and now it is 7.20 and I am on my way to work. I'll make it to work in time. Yeah, and uh, today and tomorrow I'm triage, so I should have bought some excedrin because i have been having the only headaches like sometimes i'm like squinting because of the pain um and it's usually after being on triage for so long 
Um, but yeah, that's all I have planned for today. I'm just gonna focus on the road, listen to the podcast, and I will catch up with you guys at lunchtime, if not when I get home from work. It is lunchtime. Well, I already got done eating lunch. Um, I ate in the cafeteria. Well, in the little lunchroom that they have for us because um, I didn't want to... Ooh, excuse me. I didn't want to spill the soup in my car. My car is ooh, enough of a mess as it is. And I, like, it's too cold for me to clean it. So <laughs> that's not happening. Ew, there's a girl popping her zit right next to me. Nice do that in private um but the morning i want to say kind of flew by quick um it wasn't too bad i i'm going on to i'm on late lunch right now so that means there's a nurse right there who went in the office who went first um but while she was away on lunch i'm still fairly new like i i don't care if i've been here almost a year I still consider myself fairly new because I just haven't been exposed to triage that much and there's so much I don't know about pediatrics so um I, I, I will annoy you with questions if I'm not sure about something but I'm not familiar with how to add patients new patients into our system like new patients who are coming into the practice so I got a call from a mom who's in the hospital being discharged and she needed to make an appointment and be added to our system so she can come in which is fine great but i was like fuck i don't know how to do that you know they've shown it to me like three times granted some people pick on this pick up on this stuff quicker than i probably will but they there are so many steps that i i just I'm not confident at all with adding patients, so I had to annoy the front desk to do it for me and then transfer it back so I can do the scheduling. Like, it was such, I hate to be an inconvenience, but I'm not gonna do it if I just don't know how. Uh, and it doesn't help the fact that <laughs> I don't, I, I didn't have my binder today that has like my cheat sheet. So I felt so bad, but whatever, they helped me. And then I clarified with the nurse who came back from lunch before I left. Uh, if I did it right, I told her what I did, um, that they requested this date because I, I, I didn't even know if um, usually with newborns, they have to come in the day after. So like if she's being discharged to go home today, does she have to come in tomorrow? Um, and apparently that's what we'd like. But based on what this mom told me, the hospital doctor told them it was okay to wait until thursday so i scheduled them for thursday because you know i i don't know so thank god everything's fine um i need to start carrying this piece of paper in my wallet because yeah little she she is a need but yep just driving to my usual spot to have well where I usually have lunch, but I already ate, so I'm just going to hang out over here and watch some YouTube and just get some planning done. Um, and yeah, and I'll probably catch up with you guys later, but that's pretty much it for today. It's freezing though, I'll tell you that much. saw me eating at the clip before I uh, just came over to the park across from my job and I'm um, just gonna hang out just relax um, I'm on phones again I'm doing triage uh, for those of you who are new to my channel um, I'm an LPN in a pediatric facility um, nurses here do a little bit of everything we mainly do triage shot room and then help out in the back bringing patients back and working them up um, and yeah, that's what I do. I've been here for a little bit over a year and I really like it. Let's see. I was going to tell you guys something, but I totally forgot. Oh, I was totally 
supposed to go to uh, Target on my lunch break to look some for some like face products, uh, mainly foundation that will help prevent my face from getting dry because I I used to always complain about having oily skin, like really oily, like right now I would be like shining. But I've noticed that that has gone away, which is great. I was like, yes, you know, I'm not oily. But I am so dry. I've never had this issue in my life before. Like it really messes up my foundation. Yesterday when I got home and took off my mask and got a closer look at my face, I noticed that my foundation was cakey all over my face because I have really bad dry skin right now. Excuse me. So right now it's... I can just tell my skin is like it's really dehydrated like I can feel it too it's so bad I'm I'm getting like really itchy blotches over here you can't really tell if I get closer I'm sure you can tell I'm getting these little like bumps um I genuinely don't know what it is um and I was why does it always turn off whatever and i was looking to um do some research today while i was on phones because you know i'm right there in front of the computer on great products to keep to bring like the moisture and like hydrate my skin but i didn't have time because it was so busy it was so so busy um i like before i left before I came on to lunch, like we were getting pretty much slammed with phone calls, back to back phone calls. Um, I actually came on to late lunch. I didn't even realize it was 12 o'clock when I looked at the time, it was 12.03 and I, I was still had a phone, uh, a caller waiting for me to pick up. So I was like, I'm going to take this one and go to lunch. Uh, so yeah, I didn't get a chance. So I'm not going to go to Target. I'm probably going to do, do some research tonight and probably go tomorrow after work. I am a half day um and yeah or i'll just leave it for the weekend i literally have no rush to go and get that done i do have to figure out what i'm gonna wear on new year's we're not gonna spend it for with family um we're gonna go with a friend who um we've been hanging out with you know they're fine they're not symptomatic we know the risk we're taking um we're gonna go hang out with them and we know they're taking proper precautions because they have a baby on the way and her and i feel fine so I know there's no guarantee, but like I know the risk we're taking, but it's just gonna be us four. Um, and yeah, we're gonna spend it with them because last year we spent it with her because he's um, we we didn't know of him last year. Um, but yeah, we love them. We're all great friends, so we're just gonna have a chill night, order out, and just just hang out. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's what's gonna happen on tomorrow. Today's Wednesday holy shit i'm clearly not here um but yeah that's pretty much what we're gonna do right now i'm just gonna listen to a podcast and enjoy the remaining 30-ish minutes of my lunch and go back and get through it get through the rest of the day <laughs> It is Thursday, and it does not feel like a Thursday. Oh, my Dina is waiting for me. Um, yeah, it does not feel like a freaking Thursday at all. I brought my coffee to go. I'm, I'm not late. <laughs> but I just bought it to go because I want to stop at McDonald's. Um, if I were to say prior to that. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like a Thursday. Um, luckily, today's half a day because this morning I was just like, <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Um... <laughs> It's fine. I'll be fine. I um, I only work half a day, so I am 8.15 to 1. But I'm late nurse, meaning all the all the late, um, the like the last patients who are stuck past 1 in the office. I'm the lucky one who gets to stay. But it's okay. I can use the extra hours. Um, and then I'm off tomorrow and Saturday, and I'm back in on Sunday. <sighs> But anywho, guys, um, it's a rainy, gloomy day. It's like New Year's Eve, and it, it just did it this year. Like, I, I know I've said this before, but it just does not feel like the holidays at all to me. The Christmas tree? The Christmas, the Christmas tree at my house is already down. 
and that is so unlike me so unlike me i keep it up as long as possible but when i got home yesterday my mom surprised us by sending the cleaning lady over and she cleaned my apartment thank god because oh, i love a clean apartment walking home and it's just spotless i was just like oh thank you so much i got home and her nun had taken down the christmas tree and i was just like i couldn't even be mad i just couldn't he thought i was gonna be pissed but i was just like i was gonna say let's take it down this weekend but he must have had enough of it because i think i told you guys that the pets get the ornaments down and they broke and shredded apart all the ornaments of the, the bottom half so the tree was looking rough this year is just not the year next year next year i'll go all out and I, I, for 2021 i want to save money more money and i want to budget budget for a for next year's christmas gifts and like start planning what I'm gonna get family, my family like ahead of time because this year I just, I had a hard time. Like I didn't know what to get my family, but luckily they liked what I got them. So it's currently 1.38. I left work at like 12.09. That's when I officially clocked out. It was pretty slow. Um, I think our last patient was gone before 12. Um, so I asked the manager if we could leave and she said yeah go there was literally no but no patients so even some of the doctors had already left so I decided to peace out as well um I think the doctor that left prior, like the first one who left for the day even like told the manager like to close up early because it was dead um but yeah it's 12 39 I'm about 15 minutes from my house I'm probably gonna go home and make Hernan and I um lunch yeah, I'm gonna make lunch for us and then just hang out and probably try to squeeze a nap in because um, I don't wanna crash like later tonight when we're at my friend's house. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go home and do that. And then I'm gonna cook um, the zucchini noodles that I got at Trader Joe's with some, with some shrimp and maybe hot pepper flakes, the red pepper flakes. Uh, and yeah, that'll be lunch for us until we have our late dinner tonight. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing today. Hernan luckily is getting laundry out of the way. When I called him before leaving work, he said he was finishing up. So I really don't have anything to do besides, you know, just tidy up in the kitchen. Um, I was going to redo my nails, but they don't look that bad. So I'm just going to leave it. Um, whoops. Uh, and yeah, and then I um, I want to run to Target and just get some products for my face because it is bad. It's getting bad. Um, I think the tea tree oil face wash that I'm using might be the reason why I'm getting so dried out and breaking out. They're not pimples. I would describe it more as like an itchy rash um, on my cheeks all over on this area. You guys can't really see it, um, but like it's driving me nuts and I just, I have to... I'm going to switch up my face wash for the next two weeks because I think it's the tea tree oil um, face wash that I got at Trader Joe's. Um, I, I think Trader uh, tea tree oil, if used too much, can dry you out. I'm not too sure. I have to do my research. But I'm going to switch over to a product that will hydrate my face. So I think I'm going to switch the face wash and buy a moisturizer that will rehydrate my face so we'll see how that goes um if i don't go today i'll probably go this weekend but i definitely need to get that changed and just see how the next two weeks go just to figure out you know what's causing it all right guys so i've been home for a while now um it was just being lazy and laying around and just working on my digital planner um my skin's really bothering me just let's just ignore that I am about to take all this off and get into the shower. I think it's like 2.30 um, and we have, like I mentioned, plans for New Year's. New Year's Eve at a friend's house. We're probably going to head out there around 7, pick up food and just go celebrate with them. Um, it's just going to be four of us total, nothing big at all. Uh, my parents are actually just going to stay at home. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty, it's just going to be a small event. But right now I'm just going to do my skincare routine. Let me show you guys the face wash I've been using that I told you I think is irritating my um, skin. It's the Trader Joe's 
face wash with tea tree oil. Um, I, I've, I've used this in the past. This, I want to say this is my like my second or third bottle. So I'm not entirely sure if it's this that's irritating my skin. Um, it has to be something. And then this is the um, moisturizing face lotion that I used from Trader Joe's as well. Um, I really don't know what it is. It, it might not even be a face product. It just might be my skin. Um, but I think after I get out of the shower, I might run to Target. I'm not sure. Really don't feel like going out. It's cold. So if anything, I'll just leave it for this weekend. But yeah, that's what I do. And then this is the this is the face mask I like to use. Um, the Clinique City Block Purifying Charcoal Mask. This I like to use at least once a week or every couple of weeks. It's great. It leaves my skin feeling like a baby's butt. Um, it's awesome. So highly recommend. Um, I was actually considering going to Clinique and just seeing if I can find something for my face, but Ulta is pretty expensive and I'm not trying to spend that much money. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. But for now, I'm just going to wash my hair so that it's dried by the time we head on out um, and I can just straighten it really quick. But yeah, that's the plan. Going to start to get ready. I'm just wearing this shirt from Target. Some jeans, no idea where I got them, and my new sneakers that Hernan got for me. Um, and yeah, we're gonna head to Target. But I got some gift cards for Target um, for Christmas, and I was wondering what the hell am I gonna spend them on, and why not go take a look and try to see if I can find some mom jeans to wear tonight with a nice sweater, um, or just a nice top in general. So it's three, it's 3.30 gonna go do that and then I'll come back home. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the shirt that I'm leaning on wearing tonight. It's just this type of shirt. I don't even know how to describe it, but I think it's nice, simple. Um it's by this brand at Target. I got the right size, right? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to wear this, I think, depending how it looks. And then I got this one um, that was on sale, which is like col colorful. And I usually don't, I don't have anything like this. Usually don't get anything colorful, um, but I liked it. I just got some basic um, skinny jeans. I know I was going for um, mom jeans, but I didn't find any I liked. These are the mid-rise skinny in a size 10 because your girl is no longer an 8. <laughs> um, so whatever, it doesn't bother me. I accept my body the way it is. Um, for face products, I am trying this brand. This is the Everyday Radiance Moisture. Um, and the main reason I got it is because I think on here it says it's cruelty free. It's not tested on animals. Yeah, not tested on animals. And I'm more aware of this now when I buy my products. Um, so, and then this is the, um, gentle gel cleanser. So I'm going to try this out. Um, and then I wonder if there, this brand Maybelline is cruelty free. <laughs> I should have googled that before getting this um but I got this foundation it has a dewy and smooth finish um we'll see how this looks on my skin but I'm actually going to research if it's cruelty free or not and if it's not I may just return it um but yeah that's all I got I'm excited to try the products um and yeah that's what I'm going to be wearing tonight one of these outfits